How many points do teams score in the championship game of a certain sport? The total number of points scored by both teams in each of the first 46 championship games are shown below complete parts A through C below. So here's our data. We do not want to even use a calculator for this. There's too much data. You're likely to put something in wrong. So we're going to click this little button here, and we're going to open in StatCrunch. You can certainly use Excel, but I'm pretty much going to do every problem almost from here on throughout using StatCrunch. So here's our data in variable one. We can give that a better name if we want to. Not needed for this homework assignment, though. So I'm going to go to Stat, Summary Stat, Column. You'll be doing this quite a bit. Almost on every data set that you have, you're going to be running Summary Stats. So var one and we can just take the default for now. It has, it pretty much will have everything we need. Press compute. Okay, so what are we looking for here? The median. So come down here, we have, there's our n at 46, there's our mean, uh, median at 45.5. Find the quartiles, so lower quartile Q1 and Q3. I think the book may go through some of this by hand, but we're not gonna do any of that. Q1 is 37. So that is the lower quartile, 37. The upper quartile, I was just looking at it, but I can't remember it, was 55. Remember what those quartiles are. It's separate, picture all this data sorted, smallest to largest. And you, let's say you chop it up into four um, equal segments. And what value sort of separates the 25th percentile, right? The lower 25%. From the upper 75% and similar with the upper quartile. Five number summary. And our stats we just ran pretty much give us that. Here we go. Okay, so five number summary. Remember, it's the minimum is our first value, and then Q1, so we have 21, and then 37. Minimum, Q1, which we've already put down, 37. The median, which we've already found, 45.5. The upper quartile, which is Q3 at 55. And the maximum, let me go back and see what the maximum is. Oh, there it is right there, 77. And I'm going to let you sort of interpret this part here. Now pretty soon we're going to be doing box plots with these. So let me just go ahead and, and show you this. This is a nice visual to create when doing these. Just select box plots. And maybe you, if you want to do it horizontally, you can. And there's our box plot. So there's our minimum right there. Here's Q1, this part of the box. The median is this line here in the middle. And then Q3 is the edge of the box, the right edge of the box. And then we go all the way out to the maximum at 77. Nice label. This is really powerful when you are comparing two distributions, two or more distributions. And it's still nice for one. So you've got that box plot for free. That'll be a little bit later, maybe in this lesson, maybe in the next one.